The COVID-19 pandemic caused a major economic shock, and we see that SMEs were majorly impacted. Saya sebagai peniaga yang orang kata peniaga kecil-kecilan yang berada di negeri Melaka ni memang terasa sangatlah masa semasa COVID uh, di mana saya terpaksa tutup saya punya perniagaan pada masa itu. Pada saat itu kita benar-benar dihempaskan kurang lebih dua tahun. Etmi in the Debangmot Kanel community were hit hard with the sudden loss of income due to the loss of visitors. Looking at Asia specifically, um, we, we know that SMEs are a central driver of local economic development. SMEs are providing jobs and livelihoods to um, large parts of um, the, the population in Asian cities. The Resilient Cities Network wants to work with the City Foundation because we are recognizing that bringing the public sector and the private sector together to develop solutions for urban resilience is critical. Catalyzing City Resilience Solutions build partnership between cities, government and the SME sectors to work together towards developing solutions that both address COVID-19 recovery while contributing to the resilience of the local communities and the cities. The program focuses on three SME sectors. They are community tourism, waste management, and green industry. The CCIS program has contributed the community to start new kind of economy so that they have resilient future. Melalui projek ini, peniaga dapat memperolehi manfaat dalam pembangunan ekonomi setempat selari dengan peningkatan pendapatan yang lebih baik daripada sebelum ini. Ya. Yeah produksi packaging ya kita kadang sharing-sharing juga masalah perajinan daripada ya jadi sampah dan akhirnya jadi polusi ya lebih baik jadi cuan. Nah, với chuyên môn của mình thì sở cũng phối hợp với các sở ngành là hướng dẫn mình lập kế hoạch để cho thu gom và phối hợp với với chính quyền địa phương để mà phát triển nguồn và để cho cho cái cái các công ty để họ hoạt động cho 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 tốt và đạt tiến trình. Kita menggalakkan program pemerintah berkaitan dengan sustainable fashion, jadi produk yang berkelanjutan, jadi aman dan ramah lingkungan. Thì trong đó có dự án mạng lưới các thành phố có khả năng chống chịu và cao. Mục đích của dự án này là giúp cho cộng đồng ven biển phát triển sinh kế bền vững. So a lot of the work we have been doing under the Catalyzing Resilience um, Solutions Program is to look into how we can help through the public sector in building the resilience of these businesses in itself. Small and medium-sized enterprises are a core part of the solutions that are being developed. Kita harap mereka akan melanjutkan memproduksi produk itu ya untuk terus memberikan nilai ekonomi yang mudah-mudahan bisa membantu meningkatkan kehidupan masyarakat yang ada di Kali Baru. Sekarang ini masa untuk para peniaga untuk bangun semula, membina ekonomi yang baru, Kali gue membantu meningkatkan ekonomi negara.